Hey everybody, here's a new LaserDude 99 rant. Um, apparently Iceman's gonna be gay. Now before anyone gets on to me about this, this isn't a rant against gay people or making gay characters in comic books or anything like that. This isn't a rant against anything of that. This is a rant for changing things for absolutely no reason. I, I've been wanting to get onto this for, for a while, uh, so much so that I didn't even change into my uniform. I'm just like, no, I'm gonna talk about it. Look, if you wanna make characters in comic books who are gay, go ahead, do it. I don't care, go ahead and do it. Stop changing characters who already have a history of being straight into gay characters. Look, I'm not gay, so I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure that people don't say, say, well, this character is gay, so automatically this character becomes my favorite character. No, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. This is the same as doing some stupid thing like making Thor a woman or a Captain America black. It's changed just so they can say, oh, we're more diverse but they're not actually doing it for the right reasons. When I read a comic book about, let's say, oh, I don't know, Batwoman. Batwoman is a lesbian character. Fine, that's fine, because she was created that way. Maybe not the original one, like, way back in the 60s or whatnot, but the one that is the front and center Batwoman, I don't believe started out as straight and was turned gay later. I believe she was made a lesbian from her very inception. So... That's fine. She's a character. She was made to be a lesbian, and she is a lesbian. That's fine. Don't take characters who are straight and make them gay just so you can say, we have gay characters. If you want to have a character who is gay, then just make them a gay character. Don't just, just do it for the sake of doing it. They did this with Alan Scott, the original Green Lantern. I mean, do... Is people who are gay, are they really saying, well, you know what, I wasn't a fan of Alan Scott, but then they made him gay, and now I like him. It, this, that's, that's not how it works, people. people there aren't pe people say, well, I, was good, I wasn't a fan of Thor, but then they changed him into a woman, and since I'm a woman, I now like Thor. That's not the way it works. In this, in this comic book, Uncanny X-Men, they have this new character, Benjamin Deeds. He's a, kind of a shapeshifter, and he's a homosexual. But you know what? I'm not saying, oh my gosh, they ruined a character, because they made him that way. He was a new character, they made him that way. That's fine. I don't care. Do that. Do that all you want. Don't change the original characters. Bobby Drake has always been kind of a womanizer. I mean, like, uh, you, you, he has always been like the type of guy that he's always going after the women. And, you know, in everything, like in X, the X-Men movies, he's going after Rogue. In the X-Men video game, he's going after Magma. In, you know, in everything, he's always, you know, someone who's wanting to get a girl. And, you know, when Emma Frost goes by, he's staring a little bit too long. You know, stuff like that. Stuff like that has always been part of Bobby Drake's character. Now you're just gonna make him gay? What? Now, to be fair, I haven't read this. I haven't actually read the issue. I've only read the, the thing. So, it is part of the all-new X-Men thing. So, when you have, uh, you, you have the Bobby Drake from the past, who is apparently coming out of the closet, and you have, I, I don't know what this is going to do for Bobby Drake of the future. You know, if this is just something that this version of, the past version of Bobby Drake is going to be like, but when he eventually leaves, because the all-new X-Men can't stay around forever. We can't have two versions of Iceman and Cyclops and Beast around forever. Uh, when they eventually go back, I don't know if this will change the original, the the full, the adult Iceman to a point. I don't know what this entails for Iceman as a character. If this is just something they're taking the past character on, I guess fine, go with it for a bit. But if this is a permanent thing that they're going to make Bobby Drake a gay character when his entire history in comics he's always been a guy going after women and always been a little bit of you know an ogler of women and always been hitting on women and now all of a sudden you're going to make him a gay character no it doesn't make sense it does and it's not it's not that I don't want there to be gay characters in comics it's not that I don't want there to be uh, any diversity uh, among things. I just want it to make sense. I want you to put, if you're gonna do it, do it with characters who don't have, like, either they don't have that history, or uh, who don't have a history, or, you know, or do. 
or, or, you know, don't have a specified history. Because, like, if you make, let's say, you make Bobby Drake gay, and he stays that way for the next ten years, and then you have somebody who gets into comic books, likes Bobby Drake, and then gr plays an old video game, or watches the movie, and he's like, wait a minute, this isn't anything like this, and they're going to be confused, because it doesn't match up with what the character's always been like. I'm not saying there shouldn't be any gay characters in comic books. They're a minority that should have their own type of characters. Nobody should be excluded. But to make... When you're forcing it, when you're forcing it on characters that it doesn't make any sense with, not just homosexuality, with making Thor a woman, or Captain America black, it is stupid. It is stupid because it doesn't fit. It doesn't... It's pointless. Let me put it this way. This is something that I will say DC is doing better than Marvel. Right here. Because even though they did that thing with Alan Scott. Look at uh, look at what they're going to... Look. It's no secret that they're, the African American demographic isn't as... Uh, the superheroes on the African American side aren't as popular as the, you know, the, the Caucasian ones. So what are they doing? They're giving Vixen her own TV show, her own animated series. It's going to be based in the universe of Arrow and Flash, but it's going to be an animated series. Now, Vixen is not a very popular character. She, sure, she's been in things here and there, but she's not a very popular character. So what they are doing is they're going to try to build her popularity, make her more popular, make her more interesting. It would. This makes as much sense as changing Wonder Woman into a black woman. This makes as much sense as doing something like that. It's unnecessary change just to widen your demographic. And I don't think that, you know, people who are home... Like, once again, I'm generally... I don't know. I'm not gay, so I can't speak for them. Uh, I don't think they think that, Oh, boy, they're changing this character for to be a gay character. Now he's my favorite character. That's not how b picking a favorite character works. You know, you like a character because of who they are, not because what their preference is and what your preference is. I don't say, oh, I like this character because he's straight, so they won't say, oh, I like this character because he's gay. It doesn't work that way. It is a silly decision, and I don't know if it's going to go away or if it's just for the all-new X-Men. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just, I just, I haven't read the story, and I probably will because I'm a really big fan of the X-Men comics right now. Uh, but yeah, I really don't think it makes sense. It's changed just for the sake of change, and if you want to have gay characters in comics, fine, write your own gay characters. Don't change the preference from a character that has been in comics for probably over 50 years and do it just because you want to have more gay characters in your comics. Make more gay characters. Don't change ones that have already had a preference for the longest time in their lives. And it, for what I can tell, Bobby Drake likes women and from isn't I don't know. this is it I'm done you can say this is offensive if you want I don't care this is just how I feel be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel and wait for more coming soon